Hello everyone, it's Artem here. So I recorded that last video about SEO optimization for Next.js apps and I was getting into learning about the marketing and stuff and I decided to record the second part. Maybe I will record like make it as a series because I want to discuss not only the SEO but other ways of marketing. So and I created this simple fig jam to this to like to showcase before we start with the actual like content of the video. So basically like for the marketing and if you like building some project in the on the internet you have like a three ways like three main ways to uh, get leads to get people to get clients it's basically like direct outreach so you just looking for people contacting them like via email they could get in their email somehow or like adding them as a like a linkedin or like twitter and just contacting them i mean if your project is useful it can be really good because you just explain in the project like a like a friend to a friend and uh, showing them the value you can you have also the paid ads this is also good and we will explore it later and i will show you how i do how i'm doing this but for now like i first start with the non like paid options so you have like a direct outreach or uh, seo optimization basically content and for content yeah we have like seo right here on the left and also the socials the socials are differentiated because it's a little bit different for the social content you try to you basically you post you make a post on the reddit on the twitter or on the youtube on the tiktok and you try to provide value like just like i am doing this right now with with this video just provide value to people and if you do socials for the for your own project like this video is going to be just showcasing the features showcasing like what it's doing how it's working you can record like do a screen recording of your screen of your phone and just post it to tell people about this or other way it can be also related to the paid ads. You can pay people, uh, other people on the TikTok, on the YouTube with the high f number of followers to do something like this for you, to show you application. It's also working quite good. Like I tried it a couple of times with my other projects and it's it's more to the paid options, but again, it's it's um, really can get you like a really high amount of leads really fast. And for SEO, we have, we discussed like a blog. Last time I made a text, by the way, check the video in the description if you haven't seen the first part. I I kind of discuss the fundamentals of the SEO optimization for Next.js applications. And right now I want to discuss the keywords, this part. So while I'm recording this video, I was on just checking how the company is doing this and I found this Canva. I, I think you know this is like just design tool to design different things. And you know, like uh, what they're doing really good is like if you search like create YouTube thumbnail, the, one of the first um, uh, options it's going to be the canva it's not like specially and uniquely created tool for the thumbnails but you can do thumbnails with it and what they're doing really good they're crafting for these like unique search terms they're crafting these landing pages where they explain for this particular search term how this tool can be leveraged and used and and below they have this button to basically to create an account to start using i think this is like, I mean, if I'm the person who's looking for the YouTube thumbnail creator and you, I see this, I will just 100% click on this button. And I will show you how I'm doing this. By the way, let's just do one more experiment. I will, like, create, write, create presentation just so you see this, how how powerful is it. So if I click create presentation, I see the sponsored one at the top. I see, like, some explanation. And here is, like, one of the first, basically, search, search uh, suggestions for them for their presentation you see like i mean this is even if the person is not, like don't know anything about design and about canva one of the search one of the first search suggestions like definitely it's like it getting a lot of clicks so how i'm doing this i will explain you right now so let's start with the the final result and then i will show you in code and also i will show you how i do the research for the keywords as well so for the code we have the basic landing page you see it's, it's like the root page and here we have like a students teachers uh, toggle and if you for example do the ai lesson planning you see based on the keyword we change the title and we change in the description idea is get the keyword get the content that you want to change based on the keyword so you need to provide some kind of the title that you want to be different based on the keyword you need to provide some some description and for all the components that you have like for the before and after for the uh, features like craft any unique feature description and like feature content based on this keyword 
uh, average sales will st can stay pretty much the same. Now let's I will show you in code how it's done. So we have a simple next Next.js application. We add in a new uh, root segment that is going to be dynamic with the keyword. Here we have the page. What we have on the page, we are rendering metadata. Uh, we are doing this dynamically by generate metadata exporting function, which will render a metadata ba um, based on the keyword. So it will be it will have dynamic title and description and the canonical URL. Next, this is really interesting. So we will have all the keywords and we will pre uh, pre render static pages for the key, uh, for, for all the keywords. So we will have the statically generated pages that will increase our like SEO optimization. Um, this is super uh, important step because this all these pages is going to be static and you want them to be as high on the search ranking as possible. And here it's like a helper function that we will check in. We are taking the keywords that we have saved and we, if it's not a valid keyword, we just redirect back to, to the main page. So let me show you. If I'm go here and I will change here for like some nonsense, I will just go back to the main page. It's just to prevent, uh, like prevent like user, bad user interactions and like, and other problems that it might cause. So this is good. Here we pass the keyword to the page. Here this is the helper that we used to redirect to the to the root. Here what we're doing, we're taking the keyword from the URL, and we are basically see like for the URL we do it do this basically encoded URL, so it's without the spaces and stuff. And here we basically like decoding it, removing all the stuff from the from that we don't need to remove the uh, the dashes and pass the keyword pass the keyword to the component if we need. And here we accessing, we using the keyword to access the config. Let me show you. So config looks, basically it, it's what you explained uh, earlier is for all the components that you have, you just craft unique, like a title, subtitle, unique features, and you can extend it as much as possible. As you see, I just started doing this, but you can, I mean, you can do basically anything. Like again, as much, spend here as much time as you ca possibly can. Like. I don't know, craft as unique, uh, craft the landing pages as uniquely as possible, but changing just the default copy for like the features expla explanation for the title, subtitle is enough just to make it more kind of unique based on the search term and try to use, for example, if you are crafting the copy for the AI quiz creation, try to use word quiz and AI quiz as much as possible in your content on the, on the, for the components. This will be really useful as well, because the more keywords you can, like in a natural way, put inside the copy, copy the better, because it will be all indexed and you will rank higher on the SEO. So this is like this, and the keywords looks a simple object, just researching keywords, add in here, and based on these keywords that we have here, we will craft the, our configs. So we'll just do this manually, or like with AI help if you want. Just simple as this, and this is basically how the, the copy of our landing page that we use on the root, all the all the same components, but here we will just pass in more data inside. We pass in the config, and let's say we go to hero, and here we're checking if the keyword exists, and we pass this, and based on this we change in, we, instead of showing just a regular, like our copy and content from the root page, we are checking for the keyword and using this keyword, or using, um, we might also, as I'm doing, as I'm doing this on the other components, I also pass in the keyword and the object, the config, right here. So you see, we pass in the config as well. So we can not only use the keyword itself, but also use the use the the config um, copy that we defined, like um, actual sentences. So yeah, this is this is how it's done. Also, like let's say you are like a. Uh, you're thinking like how I'm researched all these two, all these keywords. So it's pretty easy to do actually. Let me open the, it's called Keyword Planner. You need a Google Ads account to do this, but it's free to create. So just create one account for you. And inside the tools planning, uh, you will see Keyword Planner. And what it's doing basically, you can just click discover new keyword and try different things like AI quiz, for example, and check the, the search term. Generally, uh, like if it's from 100 to 1K, it's okay. If it's from uh, 10k to 100k, it's better. Also, check the popularity of this keyword. So, if I say AI learning, so this is uh, good. Actually, what these keywords I like better from 1k to 10k, and I like when you see the 
search term increase in popularity. So let's say AI teacher. So you see like from 1k to 10k this is good keywords from 100 to 1k they are also good they are okay uh, but like a little bit worse this is just because the more the more search terms for this keyword uh, there the better but again it's all what we are doing is just a matter of time you know you can take as much as possible like this as specific keywords or just check your competitor what they're targeting on and build as much of these pages as possible and for this for is as you can imagine if you like uh, have a lot of search terms cr uh, search term crafted pages for everything possibly like everything possible you will increase the chances for you for your project to be like found by the by the people that's like just randomly searching for different like tools and other so yeah this is kind of my approach let's summarize a bit so we um First of all, we are maybe it's a good idea to start with research and yeah, we, we researched some words, checked competitors, check like what we possibly can build landing page uh, about, yeah, wh wh what is going to be. Then we are doing this preparation. We are adding the keywords here. We add in the configs here with the copy that we're going to use. We craft in the page. We generate in static params to pre-render the page on the build step. We pass in the config to the components and change the copy based on the components. Find the code in the description. Ask me any questions if you have in the, in the comments. I leave a like if you like the video. And I see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.